Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking you through HTML computer codes. This video is going to be a short one. We'll discuss certain HTML tags which are used for adding programming code to a web page. So we'll see how we can do it with the help of HTML only. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's say we are working on a web page for an educational site. We need to show the user a piece of the program. In that case, we are left with two options. We can add an image of the code snippet but then the user will not be able to copy that code from an image. Another way of doing the same task is we can use the code tag in HTML. The code tag in HTML along with some other HTML elements is used to display the output, error messages or coding parts to a user on a web page. HTML provides us with five different tags for different tasks. We'll go through all of them one by one. So let's move on to the programming part directly and we'll use the first element we have, which is the code element. This element is used to display the programming content on a web page. Any text present inside this element will have a default monospace font. So let's try it here. What we'll do is we'll move to the body tag of a program and we'll write here inside the body tag, we'll write Let's use a paragraph first. We'll write here, this is an example. Fine, save the program and you can see we have this output on our browser. Let me increase the font size a bit or we can say the size of a browser window. So we will write here, this is an example. Now we'll use the code tag. So we'll write here code inside angular brackets and this is a code element. Now we'll write a piece of code over here. So for that we'll write here, let's say for we'll write here i is equals to zero i less than is equals to ten and i plus plus. Fine. Now we'll use the break tag over here. So here we have a break tag, we'll use this curly braces so we'll use the break tag here again for a line break now we'll write here console.log i fine we have to use the break tag over here again and that's it here we have used a simple javascript program wherein we are using the for loop if you have any idea about javascript then it's good Otherwise, it's not necessary to have this knowledge. It is just an example for now. So, save this program and you can see it over here on the browser. We have a small code snippet present over here. You can identify the difference in the font for both the paragraph tag and the code element, right? So, this is a different font and this one is monospace, right? So, I hope you guys can identify the difference over here. Moving ahead. Next element we are going to discuss is the KBD element or the keyboard element we can say. This element is used to define the user input from the keyboard. Any content present inside the element will have the same monospace font like the code element. So no difference in it. Let's use it here. What we'll do is we'll write over here after the code tag we'll use the break tag once and we'll write over here KBD. So this is our tag. Now anything we write inside here, so let's say we are writing over here, this is the KBD element, fine. Save the program and you can see we have this paragraph present over here on the browser. The font looks the same for both elements, right? You can see this font for KBD element and this font for code element looks exactly the same, right? So another element we have in HTML to perform the same task is the SAMP element. This element is used to display the output of a program, but if we use it here, we'll see that this element's working is quite the same as the code and KBD elements. So let's use it once over here. We'll write over here after the BR tag. Let's use two break tags and we'll write over here SAMP. Close this tag and we'll write over here this is the SAMP element. 
fine save the program and you can see the font for all these elements is exactly the same there is no difference in font styling again with the monospace font we can use any of these tags to represent a piece of code on the web page now the where element in html is a bit different this element is used to define a variable a variable means it can be a mathematical expression or a variable in a programming context so let's use the where element over here now what we'll do is we'll use break tag over here and we are going to use the where element so i hope you guys must know about the most famous formula which is speed is equals to distance upon time so we'll write it over here we'll write speed is equals to distance upon time save the program and here you can see this speed is equal to distance upon time has a different font different font styling basically it is cursive in nature you can see it over here it is cursive and the font styling is different from other elements right so let's do one thing we'll use another famous formula here which is a plus b whole square so let's use it it's a interesting formula so we'll write over here where now inside the where we are going to use a plus b now we need to mention square over here so we'll use the superscript element we'll write here two inside this element now we are going to use is equals to then we have a square for square we are going to use superscript again a square plus b now we have to use the superscript again so we'll write over here superscript a square plus b square then we have plus 2ab fine save the program and let me just use the break tag over here once so that it will be easy for you guys to understand so we'll write over here break save the program and here you can see we have a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab fine it's working totally fine although it looks a bit confusing we have used the superscript tag here only other than the where tag so i hope you guys got it let's move ahead and we'll go through the pre tag in html now this tag is used for performated text any text present inside the pre tag is displayed with a fixed width font fine basically this tag also has the same working as the code tag and the sam tags in html it will use the same font as them so let's use it here once for your reference so we'll use the break tag over here once again and we have to write here break then we have to use the pre tag fine so we'll write over here this is an example of pre tag in html fine save the program and you can see the text present over here on the browser it has the same font style with no difference in font style it's exactly the same for like for the code tag and for the stamp and keyboard tag fine so guys these are the tags we have in html for showcasing a piece of code we can use some of them on a web page i hope you guys must have got an idea by now so that's all for this video guys see you in another session if you enjoyed watching the video then do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments we'll be happy to help you please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you